Linux just got its own AI assistant. Windows has Copilot, Google has Gemini and Linux. Yeah, we were getting left behind but that just changed in a big way. Meet Newell, a brand new AI assistant built for the GNOME desktop but way more powerful than anything you have seen it. This thing has blown my mind. Now this is not yet another AI chatbot. This is a full blown assistant integrated deeply with the Linux system. We are talking next level features like executing terminal commands with natural language, complete flexibility to use any AI model you want from ChatGPT to your own 100% private local models, and a game changing new mini app system that turns Newell into an entire platform for AI powered tools. I've been playing with Newell and many other AI apps and this is the AI integration on Linux that we were waiting for. And in this video, I'm laying everything out for you. We will go through the installation, full feature tour and I'll also show you how to unlock its most advanced capabilities that are actually hidden for your own safety. Let's jump right in. I have been playing around with Newell and it's definitely something else. This is not just another chatbot. This is an AI assistant built specifically for the GNOME desktop and the GNOME workflow. And what sets this apart is its philosophy. It's built with the Linux way in mind. It's completely user controlled, privacy focused and lets you choose your own AI models. You're not locked into using just ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini or something. This is definitely the AI integration on Linux that we're waiting for and it's powerful as well. You can chat with any model you want here. You can use voice chats, do web searches. You can also let it interact with the OS using the file manager and the terminal. This combines conversational AI with deep system integration tools and that's a game changer for Newell. One big thing about Newell is unlike other apps and platforms where AI is being forced on you unnecessarily, this is a deliberate opt-in tool you have to consciously choose to install it if you need it and deliberately pick which AI models to use and what permissions to give. And this gives you an amazing amount of control over your privacy. But the coolest part might be its flexibility. Newell is completely agnostic when it comes to LLMs. This is just a universal front end. You can plug and play any AI model and you can work with it. You got options like ChatGPT, Gemini, Anthropic, Mistral, OpenRouter, Grok and local ones. You pick the model that fits your needs for performance, cost and above all privacy. The front end. Newell. This is going to work in exactly the same way. This is definitely the AI for Linux because you decide how everything works here. You can also install locally running LLMs on your machine and if you do that, your Newell is going to be 100% privacy safe. Your chats, what you ask the AI, it's never even going to leave your machine. Then, Newell is built using GTK4 and libadweta library which are the core components of the GNOME desktop. So it's fluid, cohesive and completely fits in with the GNOME aesthetic. You know it feels like it belongs here. When you use it, you will feel that it's a native GNOME app, not some cross-platform web tool trying to fit in. We're just scratching the surface, there's a lot more here. Ok, let's jump in and see how to install Newell. The easiest way to get is with Flatpak from Flathub. You can enable Flatpak and Flathub repositories, if not already done, and then install it using the command given in the description below. On a distro such as Fedora, it can be installed from the software store directly. On Ubuntu, Flatpak is not installed out of the box, you have to install it first. The install commands for all these are given in the description below. After installation, Newell immediately prompts you for a large language model configuration. By default, you get free 10 messages out of the box to test how things work. But I'm going to go ahead and configure a model here. You can use an OpenAI API key, Gemini AI, Cloud API key, OpenRouter, Grok and even set up your own local LLM using Olama here. My personal recommendation is OpenRouter. This gives you many absolutely free top tier open source models for day to day usage. Open a free account, get an API key, plug it in here and select any of the models you want here. You can follow along with me. Once this is done, you can just start using Newell. So let's jump in and see what you can actually do with Newell. Now it's not just a chat client, it's a full on desktop assistant and it's got a bunch of features designed to make your life easier on Linux desktop. First up, the conversational AI is rock solid. It has all the chat features you would expect like persistent history and the ability to edit or delete any message. You can also save entire conversations and give them custom names. These are just the expected features. For the power users, it supports rich text formatting right in the chat. You can use markdown or structured text or LaTeX for complex math and scientific stuff. It renders it all perfectly. Newell also has awesome multimodal interactions. 
you can use your voice to talk to it, making for a completely hands-free experience. I absolutely love this. At this moment, I cannot even live without voice to text. It supports a wide array of speech to text and text to speech models. You can choose whichever you like. It even has a built-in translation so you can chat in different languages with different models like Kokoro TTS and Whisper. But it gets better. You can use Newell's built-in web search to get real-time information from the web and this gives you super customizability with multiple provides like Seer XNG, DuckDuckGo and Tavili API. You can also have it read and scrape a specific website by simply adding a prefix like hashtag HTTPS to your prompt. This lets you ask questions directly about our web page content without ever leaving the chat. The chat with documents feature is also really cool. You can load your own local files and ask questions about them. If a document is too long, Newell uses semantic search and RAG to give you accurate and efficient answers. This is an incredible way to interact with your own data. And for your personalized workflows, Newell has a profile manager that lets you create different settings profiles. This is super handy if you want to switch between different LLMs or configurations for various tasks. You can also set custom keyboard shortcuts for common actions to save time. Newell, while it definitely has some really advanced features and things that it can do as we'll see in a bit, it also nails the basics. Newell hit version 1.0 a few weeks ago and that brought in a massive upgrade with the introduction of mini apps. From the beginning, Newell has had a powerful extension system built on Python and this had enabled the community to add all sorts of new features, from support to different LLMs, STT and TTS models to things like AI-powered image generation, calendar integration and even voice cloning. The developers of Newell really encourage this, but mini apps are a whole new beast. Unlike the old extensions that mainly work in the background, mini apps can render their own custom graphical interfaces directly in Newell's sidebar. They are basically tiny dedicated micro applications written in Python and GTK that live inside Newell. This fundamentally changes what Newell is and I feel that this is a separating feature of Newell. It's no longer just a chatbot app, it's a host environment for other AI powered tools. The 1.0 release already has some great examples of this. The integrated web browser, file manager, file editor and terminal are all first party mini apps. This means you can browse the web, edit files, run commands directly from within Newell. And check out this cool thing. You can separate these mini apps as their own little windows out. Double click to maximize them and double click to bring them back into small cuts. I can keep multiple of these mini apps running here and switch between them and work seamlessly. With third party mini apps already coming to Newell, I think the potential for this is going to be absolutely limitless. Newell comes with fantastic integration with your Linux system. It can do things like run commands directly and also access your files. But the Flatpak sandbox is designed to stop it from doing exactly that. Newell is extremely powerful and since you are using your own LLMs and these LLMs can hallucinate and maybe run dangerous commands. So this feature is kept locked by default. You unlock it only if you know what you are doing. This is an advanced user feature. To unlock its most powerful features, you have to consciously break open this sandbox. Now this is not a bug, it's a deliberate design choice. Think of it as a deliberate security air gap that makes sure you understand the power you are about to unlock. But even without enabling all that, you can just start using Newell as an AI chatbot. You need not do the following steps unless you want to access the terminal commands and file manager. I also liked how clearly and methodically Newell lets you understand what's going on here. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock Newell. Now remember, you don't need to do this to start using Newell. You can just start chatting. This is only for advanced operations where you want to let Newell run commands, which I think 99% of people might not need. Anyway, I'm going to go into it. First, in Newell settings, you can open the general tab and turn off command virtualization. This tells Newell to use an external real terminal instead of a fake sandboxed one. Next, we need to install a tool called FlatSeal, which we will install from FlatHub. Now FlatSeal is the permission manager for Flatpak applications. Using this, I'm going to turn on all user files under the file system. And this is going to let Newell see and access my home directory files. And under the system bus, we add org.freedesktop.flatpak to the talks permission. This is the magic key that lets a sandbox app talk to your system and run commands. Again, you need not do this. After that, we configure the external terminal in settings and we can select our preferred language models like Olama. Make sure console access is enabled in the prompt section. We are all set up. Now let's take a look at the terminal command execution because it's a major feature of Newell. And this is what turns Newell into a full-blown assistant. 
Basically, it gives AI the power to understand your natural language requests and turn them into Linux commands. You can ask things like create a folder name something and it's going to perform that task using the terminal. You can do all sorts of things with this. Your imagination is the key here. But yeah, you got to be very careful about it. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just cannot stress this enough. Giving a non-deterministic large language model access to the system shell comes with the risk of it hallucinating a destructive command. And the Newell team is very clear about this risk. They repeatedly warn you about it. But yeah, maybe they can add a security checker for all the commands being run or something. Yeah, something like that could be implemented later on. But the possibilities with this are truly endless. I think that Newell has found a very unique spot in the Linux AI world. It's not another chat client like LM Studio or Olama. It's a power user tool that integrates deeply with the system, all while sticking to the open source philosophy. It's Linux first. So that's a huge advantage from a user experience point of view. I really love the direction they are taking with the mini apps feature. It's going to turn Newell into an entire platform or a micro operating system for AI on Linux desktop. And because it's built with GTK4 and libadweta, it feels right at home on GNOME. You know, I was really worried when the AI scene hit and Microsoft introduced Copilot. And I knew people were going to embrace AI because the usefulness or the utility of AI is undeniable. I was really worried that the Linux desktop world is going to fall behind because AI is expensive. I had never imagined that we were going to get something like Newell. And this has really blown my mind. This is still in its infancy, but the direction that they are taking is just phenomenal. I'm going to watch its growth very closely. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours. So definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 15 hottest hacks that will supercharge your Linux desktop's performance to the next level and truly unlock your Linux. It's got some really cool tweaks, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.